Approximately 596 miles, 960 kilometers, from the Atlantic Ocean, hidden in the heart of the United States, lies one of the most enigmatic and dangerous geological forces on the planet. The New Madrid Seismic Zone extends for more than 124 miles, 200 kilometers, through southeastern Missouri, encompassing parts of Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Illinois, creating a seismic anomaly that defies everything scientists thought they knew about earthquakes. This region, which stretches from the Missouri Booth Heel to the St. Louis metropolitan area, represents a significant risk to millions of Americans who live completely unaware of the threat that sleeps beneath their feet. This apparently peaceful region, dominated by vast agricultural plains, carries in its depths a turbulent geological history that dates back more than 500 million years. During the Cambrian period, when continents were still forming, a series of deep fractures cut through the Earth's crust in this area, creating a fault system that remains active today. These ancient fractures, known as rifts, are permanent scars in the Earth's structure that continue to release energy accumulated over millennia. The formation process of these faults involved complex tectonic movements that created zones of weakness in the continental crust, establishing the conditions for seismic activity that persists to this day. What makes this seismic zone truly extraordinary is its location in the center of a tectonic plate, far from the edges where the most devastating earthquakes normally occur. While most major earthquakes happen where plates meet and collide, such as the famous San Andreas Fault in California, New Madrid represents a completely different phenomenon. Here, the forces that generate earthquakes come from internal pressures within the North American plate itself, accumulated during millions of years of continental movement. Geologists classify this type of activity as intraplate seismicity, a phenomenon much less understood than seismic activity at tectonic plate boundaries. The specific geological formation of the region contributes significantly to its seismic instability. Sedimentary layers deposited over millions of years by the ancient Mississippi River and its tributaries created a complex geological structure with different densities and elastic properties. These variations in the properties of terrestrial materials cause seismic waves to behave unpredictably, amplifying in certain areas and creating patterns of destruction that can be very different from those observed in other seismic regions. The presence of water-saturated sediments makes the situation even more dangerous, as these materials are prone to liquefaction during intense seismic events. The region witnessed some of the most powerful seismic events in recorded United States history. Between December 1811 and February 1812, a series of catastrophic earthquakes shook the center of the continent with magnitudes estimated between 7.5 and 8.0 on the moment magnitude scale. These events were so intense that they made the Mississippi River temporarily flow in the opposite direction created new lakes, and were felt more than 994 miles, 1,600 kilometers away. The seismic sequence included at least three major earthquakes and hundreds of aftershocks that continued for months, keeping the population in constant terror and permanently transforming the region's landscape. During those terrifying months of winter 1811 to 1812, residents of the region experienced something that seemed like the end of the world. Historical descriptions speak of a deafening underground roar that preceded each tremor, followed by visible undulations in the ground that moved like ocean waves through forests and fields. Century-old trees were uprooted and hurled like matchsticks, while enormous fissures opened in the earth, swallowing everything in their path. Witnesses reported that wild animals ran in panic, completely losing their natural orientation instincts, and that birds fell from the sky as if they had been struck by an invisible force. The main earthquake of December 16, 1811, was so violent that it awakened people in New York and made church bells ring spontaneously in Boston, more than 808 miles, 1,300 kilometers, away. Witnesses reported that the air became thick with sulfurous fog and that underground explosions could be heard constantly. The Mississippi River itself, one of North America's most important river arteries, had its course permanently altered in several sections. Vessels navigating the river were hurled onto dry land or swallowed by giant whirlpools that formed when the riverbed changed drastically. The force of the earthquakes was so intense that it created waves in the river that ran against the natural current, a sight that survivors described as supernatural. These historical events created geographical features that are still visible today, including Realfoot Lake in Tennessee, formed when the earthquake caused an area of land to sink and be filled by Mississippi waters. The sand blows, 
Areas where liquefied sand was forced to the surface can still be identified by geologists as evidence of the ancient cataclysms. Some of these formations extend for miles, creating a permanent record of the destructive force that once swept the region. In addition to these formations, the earthquakes created numerous sandfalls and altered the course of various smaller streams and rivers, evidence that modern scientists use to understand the magnitude and effects of the historical events. Survivor accounts from that time describe apocalyptic scenarios that remained engraved in the region's collective memory for generations. Entire families were separated when fissures opened between them during the night, and some people reported walking for days through a completely transformed landscape where familiar landmarks had disappeared completely. The earthquake sequence was so traumatic that many residents permanently abandoned the region, contributing to significant changes in American Midwest settlement patterns. These historical narratives are not just curiosities from the past, but serve as crucial warnings about what can happen when the new Madrid seismic zone awakens again. However, perhaps the most alarming aspect of the current situation is the dramatic reduction in residents' financial preparedness to face this imminent threat. The Missouri Department of Commerce and Insurance revealed frightening data showing how the region is dangerously unprotected against the next major earthquake. In the seven highest risk counties along the New Madrid Geological Fault, earthquake insurance coverage plummeted from 60.2% in 2000 to just 10.4% in 2024. This vertiginous drop of 50 percentage points in little more than two decades means that approximately 90% of residences in the highest risk zone are completely financially unprotected against a major earthquake. Angela Nelson, director of the Missouri Department of Commerce and Insurance, warned that being without insurance can be devastating when combined with increased home reconstruction costs and the magnitude of expected damage. The situation becomes even more concerning when we consider that many residents simply do not understand the extent of the risk they face. Nelson observed that events like the spring tornado in St. Louis demonstrated how high rates of uninsured people drastically complicate the path to recovery after natural disasters. Insurance represents an essential tool that enables the recovery process, but its absence can transform a natural catastrophe into permanent financial ruin for entire families. If you have been fascinated by this hidden force of nature that remains dormant in the heart of America, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to not miss upcoming content about the most extraordinary geological phenomena on the planet. Each like and comment helps us continue exploring the scientific mysteries that shape our world and can affect millions of lives. Awareness about geological risks like the New Madrid Seismic Zone is fundamental so that communities can adequately prepare and reduce the impact of future natural disasters.